So two days ago, I got in my car, headed up the road, ticket in hand, ready for the big event of the year. It's the Ingham Family Christmas Annual Christmas Party. I wanted to join all my friends and her family with, um, you know, a bit of partying and then the inevitable. The Matrix Party. So we got into uh, the manor in plenty of time. We were given a, a glass as we entered the the foyer. Um, we were ushered into the big ballroom, right? And there we were met by some words, some words of wisdom. Welcome you all to the test. There is a cage fighting event. And every single one of you has been paired against a professional fighter for you. You have one hour to think and make a decision. At the end of it, we were told, get out your credit cards and follow me into the toilets. The Matrix Party. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And that's right, it is the day of the big annual Ingham Christmas do, where people come far and wide. They have their invites. They've um, travelled from up and down the country for this big event. It's the event of the year. All manner of people are invited, as many as uh, 27, in fact. Good morning iPhone, welcome to today's video. It's a bit of a different video today because if you watch our vlogs every day then you will know that today is our annual Christmas party that we have started to host. We only started this celebration last year but everyone's decided it has to be a yearly thing, it's got to be a tradition so... Of course, it happened one year, so it's an annual Christmas do. If I remember rightly, the one year that it did happen involved like two, maybe three people turned up. I don't know if you invited the 27 last year, but there was only like three people, I think, that turned up. That was Lottie, Stacy, and the the husband of Stacy. I believe those were the the um, attendees of the day. But yeah, it's a it's an annual thing. They've decided to go big this year. That's what it's turned into. As long as we're here, it's going to be a tradition, and we're really looking forward to it. We're as long as you're here, it's going to be a tradition. Well, how long is that going to be? That's a very weird statement to come out with. The fact that as long as you are here, you're going to make it a an annual thing. Why not make it an annual thing anyway, no matter where you're living? You know, you can still invite the same people. If they're still your friends, they're going to be your friends no matter where you live, right? And they will indeed come the length and breadth of the country no matter what. Because they love you, Sarah. Everybody loves you, Sarah. What's not to love, right? Looking forward to catching up with some family and some friends that we've not seen in a while. We've got some nice food cooking. I'm doing Mexican. You probably already know this, like I say, if you watched yesterday's vlog. I've got a taco. Tacos. Ugh, tacos. <laughs> Don't know why I did that, but I've got tacos in the slow cooker and then I'm planning on making chicken fajitas. I'm going to start that in about... I've got a couple of hours before I need to start it. I'm going to start it like as people start to arrive and then, or maybe just before, and then I'm going to put out the, uh, the caterers <laughs> um, to keep everything nice and warm and fresh for when everyone arrives and then we can all tuck in. Got some just so everybody is aware, she's not referring to actual caterers there. She's talking about those little um, hot th dish thingies that keep the the, the food warm. They she, she had them at Christmas, you know, if you know. Nice desserts, got loads of nice snacks to put out. Um, but because most of the day is going to be taken up by us entertaining i thought it'd be nice to do a little haul you knew it was coming most of you guys really enjoy when i do hauls and good god nobody enjoys when you do hauls sarah nobody you've done that many hauls recently i'm beginning to um go off your channel that's right this is like the third haul in like consecutive days it's just ridiculous it's getting boring honestly and the fact that you've left it so late in order to do these hauls is just stupid really because nobody has time to go out and buy these things that you are recommending to the world it's ridiculous i'm sorry 
and things like that. It gives you ideas, especially at this time of year. So a lot of these things... As I said, it doesn't give anybody time to go out and buy the things. So giving people ideas at this time of year is a little bit stupid. Maybe, maybe you should have done this about a month ago. You know, that probably would have been a better time to have um, thought about this. But no, you're only doing it now is because you're lacking content. Are going to be Jace's and things that Jace will be receiving for Christmas this year. But don't worry if you don't have a boy, so won't be interested in this because... Do you think your viewers have exclusively got girls or something because when you did the girls haul Mila and um, babies hauls and things like that you did not say well don't worry if you don't have a girl we've got the you know the, it just feels like that's quite si singling out the boys like you're not supposed to do boy hauls kid people have boys you know they don't all just have girls I do also have a few other little bits that I thought I could just show you guys and chat about. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. So I am so excited to give Jace this. Oh my gosh, I cannot cope. It looks like the funnest remote control ever. Jace is really into remote controls. Every single thing you show him, he's like, whoa, that's so cool. Is it a remote control? Any type of car. He like obsessed with remote controls so i saw this in smith's toys it's really weird you know they have like a section where they've got like loads of toys out that um you can like demonstrate i guess you can play with and try out well this was out and i didn't even look at this i was looking at something else and then this family ran in ran straight over to it picked up the thing and then the dad was like ah oh, it's got no batteries and then one of the children was like oh no and they walked off and then i was like just noticed it like out the corner of my and then another family did the same thing and like three or four families ran over to this whilst i was just looking at this one toy so it intrigued me what's so good about this toy went on amazon looked it up and i was like oh my gosh that looks so much fun so it's a remote control shark and it basically chomps it like moves around the house doing this <laughs> it looks really good fun i showed jace actually when i saw what it did a little video on youtube and he was like oh my god i think the tail wiggles i love, i even love oh sorry guys i even love like the control pad it just looks really fun um so i got that on sale and i was so chuffed i can't remember how much i paid for it but when i looked on amazon it was on sale if it's still on sale i'll leave a link in the description box down below another thing i got that was on sale and it's definitely one of those things that i've looked at multiple times on amazon in stores Never really taken much notice, but when I properly looked into it, because I saw it on a Facebook bargain page, of course, and because everyone else was buying it, I was like, what am I missing out on? This thing actually... No, I'm about to say something that's not true. This thing actually cooks. Obviously, it doesn't cook. But you put the food in these little trays that are provided here, and there's one already in, and then you, like, flatten the Play-Doh into the bottom, and then you press this lever here... And it rises. It rises like a real cake. And they just look so cute and so much fun. So all of my children, like the younger three, really like Play-Doh. Like they play with it often and they just really enjoy playing with it. And there are some really cool sets that you can buy. But I've never seen one like that. That like, I don't know, looks like you can actually make something and put it in the oven. I just think they're going to love the role play options they've got with that obviously if you guys watched Mila's haul then you'll know she's also got some play-doh and the big ice cream cart so just those together I know will be a lot of fun to play with this is probably one of my biggest but I'm gonna leave the big bargains right until last but this is one of them for definite this is no in fact this is the biggest bargain I think simply because it's 50 pounds I literally saw it for 50 pounds yesterday in Asda don't go to Asda for this in fact it's absolutely not worth £15, but it's definitely worth the 12 that I paid for it. And that's this. Um, Paw Patrol. Is it called Buster or something? Rubbles. Buster. Where did it Buster from? Rubbles Deluxe Bulldozer. It's huge. When I saw this on sale, it's another Facebook bargain. Um, yeah, it's another face. I need to come off those groups. But everyone was posting about it. Oh my gosh, this is £12. It's such an impressive size. It looks great. It's a really impressive gift. 
so I looked into it and when I saw it on Argos I was like oh yeah that looks good simply because it registered the catchy don't they it was reduced it was reduced from 50 to 12 so I'm like okay I'm buying it because Jace will love it but I was not expecting it to be this big like it's a big toy it looks really cool really impressive I'm not actually sure there's loads of buttons on it I'm not sure what all these buttons do just yet so that, that's a button as well but it comes with like blocks, some figures, the house. So that was from Argos. Definitely keep your eye out for one of those. Because if you've got a Paw Patrol fan, that's a really cool, impressive toy. Okay, for these next few things, I have actually, I'm just going to move you up one because my legs are hurting. You've literally been on your knees for the last three days, Sarah. <laughs> it's how Chris loves it. That's how Chris loves it. I know. Sorry. For the next few things, um, I actually wrapped these up yesterday. And because I wrapped them up yesterday, I can't actually show you them in person. But whilst I was wrapping them, I did take some video footage, which I will overlay as I'm chatting. So if you saw Mila's little haul that I did, I showed you a tube with a wooden train set in it, like a little train track. And it was like a typical girly version it was like a pinks and purples and lilacs super cute and they had I think three or four different variations of these sets so I got Jace this one and I think it looks really cute I like that he's got like a similar toy to Mila but in different colours so they'll be able to play together with them and this was from Smith's Toys it was only £8.99 which I thought was a really good price for a nice little wooden train set and definitely one that's not going to overtake the living room so if you've got small space but your children likes trains and things like that, then this might be a good alternative. And then I got him also a couple of these Orchard Toys games, Orchard games. I always enjoyed playing these games with the younger three girls when they were younger. And they've got so many different ones to choose from. I, th I feel like it's a really nice thing to collect. They're always really good quality. They're always really engaging, really fun, learning as well. There's so many different learning ones that you can buy. I thought this one looked really cool and really nice to play with Jace. He loves spiders and bugs and things like that. So really well themed for him as well. About a year ago, Jace decided he needed a radar. Nobody could work out what a radar was. Everyone was like, in fact, if you watch our vlogs and you've been watching them for a while, you'll know last Christmas, I was saying, Jace has asked for a radar. Does anybody know what it might be? And there were so many suggestions. It turned out it was a watch. And I bought him two last Christmas in the sale. I got him a Spider-Man one and a Batman one. They weren't actually watches. They were more projectors. So they had like a little torch coming out of the top. And then you put in little discs. And then in the dark, you pressed it and it projected like Batman or Spider-Man and different themed things from those two cartoon characters onto the wall so that was his radar I definitely got got it right he was so happy he opened anyway I've got a radar now I'm thinking of this year now I'm thinking about it this year I'm wondering if it was radar but said in an American accent like radar 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 I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong that was the worst American accent ever but no, no, Sarah, we can add it to the long list of accents you have tried and butchered over the years. That's um, Scottish you've done, you've done the Spanish one, you know, have you done French? Possibly, not sure. Now, you know, I think you're multi-talented, so, you know, we can, uh, we can work with that. We can definitely work on your accents. That's what I said, that maybe it was Radar. But he was saying, no, not Radar, Radar. Maybe it's just an American accent, who knows. Anyway, this year I've bought him a Spider-Man watch. Now, this watch looks so cool, so fun, so interactive, and it is actually a watch. Now, Jay's obviously, well, not obviously, maybe some four-year-olds can tell the time, I don't know. But Jay's cannot tell the time right now. But this watch also has so many other fun things on it, like games. Um, I can't actually remember all the different things, but it definitely has... I'll insert the clip, obviously, overlaid, so it's got the back on it, so you'll be able to see. But it's just got loads of fun interactive things for him to do. I think he'll really like it. He loves Spider-Man. And also, despite him not being able to tell time, it would be nice for him to just get used to looking at times and things like that for when we do move on to that topic. I feel like him, I've shown this before, but I got him this Sonic the Hedgehog Flying Heroes. I used to have these when I was younger in a fairy... What were they called? You guys will probably know. Comment down below if you remember. But they were fairy things. And you'd pull like a piece of... You'd set the fairy into like a, 
a base and then you'd pull the string and the fairy would fly off. And there were so many Christmas videos or so many videos last Christmas or a couple of Christmases ago where people were doing them and they were like flying into like really inappropriate places like the fireplace. <laughs> so um, anyway, I found this Sonic the Hedgehog one on sale a while ago and I thought Jace would really enjoy playing with it. I also got him some Hot Wheels trucks. I thought these were really cool. They were a pack of 10. I think they were originally £20, but then they were on sale on Amazon for £10, which made them £1 per truck, which I thought was a decent price. To be fair, it's probably about a fair price. You can tend to get Hot Wheels singles in places like B&M for around £1.50-ish. But considering you're not having to have all the separate packaging and things like that, they just come in one. I think a pound's probably a fair price. They're probably still making a decent profit on that. But I liked that they were trucks rather than cars. He did get the car version. Um, he's had the car versions in the past, but these ones are more trucks. So hopefully he'll really like them. When we were shopping in Meadow Hall recently, we went into Boots and Jace saw a Spider-Man and a Disney Princess electronic toothbrush, an Oral-B one, and he was so excited. <laughs> like, I've never seen a child be so excited over a toothbrush before, but he couldn't believe it and he, he was desperate for it. He was like, please can I have this, mommy? Please can I have this? And I said no because I just, I didn't want him to think that like, I don't, I don't want, ever want my children to think they can just ask and get something, even though it's nice to treat them sometimes. I don't want every time them to feel like if you ask, they're automatically going to get. Well, Sarah, I think you failed on that because um, it almost comes across as if you try to do the opposite, you know? I mean, the fact that your kids expect to get a treat every single day they expect to get a super duper surprise every single day that you know it kind of comes across like you know that is the type of thing you're trying to to promote within your kids and also these were like 25 pound in the sale so i can't remember the original price but probably about 50 they were like half price so um and and me, he wanted the princess one for Mila, so I'm not about to spend £50 a couple of weeks before Christmas on two toothbrushes. So I said, no, he couldn't have them, but maybe we'll put them on our Christmas list and send them off to Santa. So I got him them, and I actually ordered them on Amazon. I didn't get them on Boots. I'll leave a link if they're still on sale. But yeah, a Spider-Man one for him and a Disney princess one for Mila. Even though I think they're from age three, um, we will be monitoring Mila with hers and we'll be doing her teeth for her. She'll turn three in July anyway, but we'll be obviously not leaving her to her own devices. We'll be monitoring her using it. But who, everyone loves a toothbrush for Christmas, a new toothbrush. We always used to get one in our Christmas stocking. And I always used to get the girls one in their Christmas stocking until we got them or be electronic ones. But yeah, I think he'll really... I think it's one of those presents that you wouldn't expect a four-year-old to be so excited about, but I think at Christmas he's going to give a really good reaction to it. And then I got him this Penguin Peril game, which looks so much fun. Oh my gosh. A few days ago, I did a haul from Verba Day and I showed you a wooden, similar type of game, except it's like a brick wall. It's made from wood, the Verba Day one, and it kind of goes vertical like this and you knock them out. This one's a very similar concept, and I actually bought this one first and forgot about it, and it's like a table type setup with little plastic ice cubes and then you stand the penguin I believe in the middle and then you've got to hammer out little ice cubes and not let the penguin fall. So a very similar type of concept, concept to the Verba Day one but slightly different. Um, definitely a lot lighter as well as it's made of plastic um, but I think we'll really enjoy playing both games. And then I also got Jay some Monster Jam vehicles. I got him a two pack on Amazon that was in the sale. I think it was about £8.99 or maybe even 7 99 by the time I ordered it, from about £18. So I was chuffed with that saving, and I got those to go with this bigger set that I will overlay here. Um, it's one of those where you kind of put one of your trucks into a, a device, and then bang the lever, and the truck goes up, and you've got to score as many points as possible. It looks really fun. It's something that I can sit and play with him. It's obviously car-themed, Monster Jam, so he's definitely going to love it. Guys, I know I keep showing games, but honestly, games are just one of those that I want to start doing. Like, we always used to do, like, Family Friday Games Night, and then we didn't do it for ages, and we really want to get back into it. 
it's really difficult when you've got like 18 year olds and two year olds so I really wanted to get like a selection of games this Christmas if you follow me on Instagram then you already know this because I've been sharing loads and um, if you're not following me on Instagram it's Sarah Ingham official make sure you go over there and follow me because I do upload content on stories and things like that and do weekly posts oh, need to do my weekly post today weekly photo dumps anyway I wanted to get an old classic Hungry Hippos <laughs> I feel like it's been years and years and years since I played Hungry Hippos. I'm sure I bought it for the girls when they were younger. I definitely had it when I was a child. There's so many different variations now. You can get crocodiles and dinosaurs. But I wanted to stick with the hippos. Had to stick with the good old classic Hungry Hippos. So I've got that for Jace's Christmas. I can't wait to play. Super easy game to play. And I think Mila will also really enjoy playing with us. And then finally for Jace's little haul, I got him this Kitty Zoom camera. And I'm really excited to give him this. If you've followed us for years, you'll know the girls all had these when they were younger. And then the girls ended up getting the, I think they were, might have been limited edition or maybe not. I can't remember. But they had the original Kitty Zoom and then they got the Disney Princess heart ones that they just absolutely loved and it's so nice to be able to like look back over your child's point of view their perspective their perspective was it sarah perspective it is perspective perspective now if you were thinking about um not treating your kids to you know to to be extravagant to expect all the time you're kind of going around about it the wrong way there's um quite a lot in this haul so far that i think he might be a little bit overwhelmed with you know maybe get him a few toys here and there but you know not the um the contents of five different argos shops don't get me wrong a lot of them are like blurry pictures of like the bottom of the curtain or the door handle <laughs> they take pictures of the most random things i think it's just the novelty of just having your own camera though and being able to just take your own pictures but on there out of the hundreds of crazy random pictures there'll be a treasure and i used to love finding that treasure i don't know one of them hugging or hugging a sibling or a really funny one and i just think a camera is a really nice gift jace loves taking pictures and i like that the kitty zoom has loads of other features as well so you can edit your pictures you can add like silly faces and borders it's also got games on it as well so you can play games and I think it's just one of those gifts that he'll really love I did get this on sale I don't think I've paid full price for hardly anything this Christmas it's so rare that I pay full price for anything one thing I'm about to show you that's not from Jace's um Christmas haul it's actually for Mila I did pay full price for this but um yeah a camera is the last thing for Jace's haul, I think he's gonna love it. Okay, um, as you can probably tell by my voice, I'm really excited about this. Let me move you back down, because I've got pins and needles now, and need to just move down a bit, there we go. Right, what if, this is one of your guys' fault, okay? One of you guys sent me this, I was like, oh my gosh, Sarah, have you seen these? And I hadn't, and now I've got three, thanks. If you're watching this, which you probably are, then you'll know what I'm talking about. You're gonna be shouting at the camera right now, I know what she's bought, right. I can't cope with this. Right, so when I was, oh, you all right? Right, when you say something's cheap or expensive, it's subjective to each individual. So I might, I'm gonna tell you guys the price of these now. And some of you will be like, that's actually a really reasonable price. And some of you will be like, I would never pay that. What are you doing? That's so ridiculous. Personally for me, I can justify it, obviously because I did, but it's like the top end. like. I feel like it's expensive. Um, I paid £30 for three pieces of pretend food for Mila's doll. Now, that was a deal as well. They should have been 36 for three. I think they were, th no, 39 They should have been £13 each or three for 30 which is what I bought. I couldn't not, though. I couldn't not. It's one of those purchases I felt guilty buying, but I couldn't not. Guys, are you ready for this? Who remembers these where you got a jar are these scented as well I think they're scented or maybe they're not scented no I don't think they are scented but you got a jar and a magic spoon and the food goes on the spoon but when you feed it to the baby it disappears and then you put it back in the jar I'm gonna have to test it out and test it out oh my god <laughs> 
my gosh. Comment down below. Would you pay? Would you pay for this? Thirty pounds. I feel. Guys, are you ready for this? Oh, it's quite hard. <gasps> why? <laughs> I've got to ask why. Why you do? Why? This is a toy for me, right? So, um, why are you sticking it in your mouth? Honestly, it's disgusting. Nobody wants that, right? Are you gonna tell your little two-year-old that you you've you've sucked on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um not for me. That was a really, really terrible. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. That was a. No, I don't think it's scented. That was a terrible, um, terrible, terrible. Dis oh my god, what? I was about to say discrimination. What? Demonstration. <laughs> That's the one. This will be dying off in this. That's a terrible demonstration. But you guys know what I mean. Those. Bela's got some new babies for Christmas. She's got a high chair for her babies, and I think she'll really enjoy playing with these. Like I say, personally for me, it was a more expensive gift, but I think she'll really like it. So for the £30, I got this pink one. This purple one, which is actually supposed to be coconut flavour, I think. Yeah. And then this apple green one as well. Oh, and for anyone interested, because they're not something you can just get anyway, which is probably why they're a bit more expensive, in my opinion. Probably not everyone's. But they're from a company called The Kid Collective. Thekidcollective.co.uk. Right, guys, this last thing before I go, because Chris needs to get ready. Um, I did just want to show, the, show these. I actually picked these up from Argos yesterday and the camera's actually resting on two of them so I'm, I'll have to move you before I show you those. I'm not actually... I've got these for Mila but I'm not going to be giving her for them... Her, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to be giving her them this Christmas because I feel like she's a bit too young to properly appreciate them. Plus, her, she's done for Christmas already. I couldn't resist buying them though because they were such a bargain. Again, I saw them on my Facebook page but... I saw them on my Facebook page ages ago and they kept going out of stock. So every time somebody had posted, they were out of, out of stock. And then I kept looking sporadically and they always come back in stock. So even if you, if you're suit, if these are suitable for you and you want to buy them, even if you go online today and they're out of stock, keep checking because they keep restocking them like every day. Um, but I wanted to show them on the vlog, wanted to show them today because they're so lovely. They're amazing quality and they're so worth the price. So it's the Designer Friend Dolls from Argos. And I'm not joking, the discounts on these at the minute are insane. You can get the house from like £100 to 30 You can get all like the bedroom sets for like a quarter of the original price. And the dolls are so cheap. So I'm going to show you a couple of them just to show you guys the quality because... Even though I'm going to save these for Mila's probably her third birthday. Or maybe even next Christmas. I don't know. I like to buy things when they're on sale. So, I don't know if you can see the roller skates. The roller skates with this particular one. And the reason I wanted to show them, because they're so lovely. And they might help one of you guys that's still looking for a gift for someone you love. So, obviously, they come in the box. The roller skates with this there. And then this is one of the dolls. Oh my gosh, she's so lovely. So obviously she's not got her skates on yet. She's got cool hair. Yeah, like, oh, that were a bit scary. But there we go. She's so lovely. And they're such lovely quality dolls. So I got her this one. And then... I can't even remember what I ordered. What's this? It looks like some boots. This was like £10 or something. Oh, you get like a bracelet as well and a charm with each one, which is so lovely. I got this one, pink one, with like jeans. Oh, this is a cool one. This one. I actually think this one was like eight pound. Eight pound reduced from like 30 or something like that they're such good quality and the reason i'm showing them now is because so many people on these facebook groups have been asking like what's the quality like are they worth the price are they like our generation are they good quality and my answer to that is yes absolutely i've got two more to show you and these two are bigger as well whoa this one's massive oh, 
that's because this what so this one was 15 pound reduced from 35 and she comes with three outfits one two three oh my gosh she's so cool again you get the little charm bracelet with each one they're so cute they're such lovely dolls i mean they look a bit terrifying when they open their eyes and look at you like that but Oh my gosh, look, she's going to love these when she gets a little bit older. The girls loved our generation, and these are genuinely just as good as our generation, in my opinion. And our generation are super expensive. So, yeah, I think this one was £15, reduced from 35 And then finally... Which one's it? Oh my gosh, this one was such a bargain as well. This was £50, reduced to, I think, a tenner or something. It was such a good price. It was 50 because she's a hair size. Oh my gosh, her eyes are so pretty. <gasps> her hair. Oh my gosh, her hair is so pretty. It's like a it's like a rose gold. Again, the charm bracelet. Um, she's a hairstylist. That's so nice. So yeah, she's a hairstylist. And she comes with a carry case, like suitcase type thing, this all opens out. Loads of accessories, hair brushes, hair dryers, curlers, tongs. I don't know what's in there, I can't remember. But loads of different things to fill like the case up. Sorry, but £15 for such a lovely gift. And also when it's reduced from 50 you know you're getting an absolute bargain. I also ordered a... Okay, so yeah, I agree that uh, that sounds like a good bargain, right? And they look very lovely, these dolls. But if you are taking off... Uh, right, so you're saying that is a, an amazing bargain but you're buying five of them, right? So you're spending 15 pounds on one, you times that by five, right? That equals 60. Do you know how much that makes? <laughs> I know, I know, it's it's hard to believe, but that makes 60 pounds, that makes 10 pounds more than the 50, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. That means it costs more. It costs you spent more, right? And the reason I say, yeah, they spent more, I know you got more dolls, but, she only needs one. <laughs> she does only need one doll, right? So um, to, to then spend more than you were originally going to spend because it's cheaper means it nullifies the cheapness. <laughs> can't, absolutely can't. What the hell? A ballerina one that was so nice. Again, I think it was about £50 as well. There's like original ones and then there's like special ones that you get like loads of different accessories and um, clothes and things with. And they're ballerina one was one of the more expensive ones it come with loads of accessories and things kind of like this hairstylist one and i ordered it to bridlington i don't know why i did that <laughs> i don't know why i did it if you watched yesterday's vlog you know full well what i'm talking about but obviously i'm not getting that but yeah they're really nice gifts i definitely recommend them even like i've done about now whilst they're such a good price to put away for mila for next year I definitely um, would recommend if they're not in stock, don't worry, they keep coming in stock all the time. I checked about three weeks every day and they were never in stock and then I managed to finally get them sporadically. Anyway, it's about three o'clock now so I need to go and let Chris get himself properly ready for the day. I need to go feed Aurora. Everyone's coming at about four so I need to go and start preparing everything. Sorry it wasn't a full daily vlog today. Sometimes when I do a daily vlog like this, I feel like my voice is so annoying and I... I, I, I just me talking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to shut up. My voice is really driving me mad. So I hope you've not felt like that if you've managed to get to the end of this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. We're going secret Santa shopping tomorrow to buy all of our secret Santa gifts. So it's going to be a fun day. I think we might go to the Trafford Centre. So make sure you come back tomorrow for a nice, juicy Christmas, Christmas, Christmas festive daily vlog at 5pm. Well, I know I'll be here for a nice juicy Christmas vlog, you know, with plenty of juice. Question is, will it be adult juice? That's the question. So, um, I'm sorry this has been a bit shit today, right? Um, I know I haven't made an awful lot of commentary on this particular video. It's p because, like, these type of videos bore the shit out of me. I'm sorry, but, um, I, I you know... I can't watch, <laughs> I can't watch Sarah blethering on about the toys that she's bought just for the sake of her trying to sell things on Amazon, right? I can't do it. It's boring. So, sorry, Sarah. Pick your game up, right? 
pick it up do something Christmassy because that's what vlogmas is supposed to be about you're supposed to vlog Christmas things right this isn't vlogging doing a haul is not a vlog right it's just talking about shit right so please come back tomorrow i promise i'll have a better video for you and um, we'll go through it together hopefully so until next time have a lovely day give this video a thumbs up because i have sat through it twice you know whether it's good or not yeah um comment all your thoughts about it down below did you buy anything based on sarah's recommendation or you know um and subscribe to the channel if you're new until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.